Quantum mechanics is weird. Unlike classical particles, we can't predict where a quantum particle will be at any instant of time. What we can say is that particle has this percentage of chances to be here and this percentage of chances to be here. Means the position of particle is described in terms of probability or you can say in form of wave function. But this thing is valid until we do a measurement. The time at which we observe the particle, the wave function of the particle collapse. And now we can say that the particle is here. And in this video, we are going to discuss about this weirdness using the double slit experiment. We are going to discuss how a particle behaves when it passes through a double slit. So be with us till end as we are going to discuss wave particle duality of a quantum particle right now. Let's start with the classical example. Consider a single slit and a screen. Now suppose some small marbles are passing through this single slit. So when these small marbles pass through the single slit, this particle accumulate on the screen in a straight line parallel to the slit as you are seeing. So this thing is obvious that the marbles are going through the slit and gathering on the screen in a straight line parallel to the slit. So now let's see what happens when we have double slit. Now these marbles accumulate on the screen parallel to the slits. And this thing is also obvious. So this thing is about the classical particle. So now let's discuss what happens when a wave passes through the double slit. When a wave passes through the double slit, what we observe is the interference pattern. So for those who have doubt how the wave interference you can see my video on interference. All your doubts become clear. So this is all about classical. So now let's discuss about the quantum particle. When a quantum particle passes through a single slit, then we observe the same thing as in the case of marbles. We have a single line, so it's the similar case as in the classical. But the weird thing happens when we have double slit. When these particle passes through the double slit, we obtain the interference pattern like we have obtained in the case of waves classically. So the first thing comes into our mind by seeing this interference pattern is that these particles collide with themselves and as a result of this collision we obtain this interference pattern. But this is not so because when we reduce the intensity of this beam means when we allow only a single particle at a time then also we observe the same interference pattern. So what does this mean? This means that the quantum particle have wave nature. So the single particle come and it passes through both slits simultaneously as a wave and interfere with itself to form the interference pattern. This is weird right? But this is not over yet. And there is one more crazy thing than this. What we are saying till now that a particle comes and exhibit a wave nature near the double slit and passes through both slits simultaneously as a wave. But a weird thing happens when we place a detector to observe the particle to check that from which slit it passes then the wave nature of that particle collapse or you can say the wave function of that particle collapse as we do a measurement. So the quantum particle exhibit wave nature till we observe them. When we observe them, their wave nature becomes particle nature and we don't get interference pattern. I know this sounds weird to you that our observation to particle position affect the phenomena and instead of interference pattern we just get two lines and this is the reason that we say quantum mechanics is weird. So that's all about double slit experiment. Hope you guys like this video. And if you find this video interesting, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.